<ríe> Apareció el teacher. Hello. Hi teacher, how are you? Fine, how are you? Fine. Good, good. Welcome back. Uh, well, welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Pamela. Hi, teacher. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. It's nice to see you again, too. Good. How are you guys today? Did you have a nice vacation? Yes. <laughs> How do you say descansar in English? Rest. Rest. Yes. Did you rest? Yes. Good. Nice, nice. So we have new friends in the class. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So for the ones that are new, my name is Francisco. I live in Lourdes. Right now, I was supposed to be in my house, but I'm in the office. Um, I'm 48 years old. I have five children. And my occupation, my profession, I'm an English teacher um, every day, every day. And, and I teach different levels in different institutions. So when I have free time, I usually spend time with my kids, usually. But sometimes I make other plans. Okay, so any questions about me? You are, are you married? Yes, <laughs> I am married. What, what name is the your uh, is your wife? My wife? Uh -huh, your wife? Her name is Guadalupe. Ah, okay. Yes, Guadalupe is my wife's name. Okay. Exactly. Okay, what about you guys? How do you say presentarse in English? Introducing ourselves. Exactly. So please introduce yourself. Similar to what I did, my name is Francisco, I'm 48 years old, I'm married, I have five children, I live in Lourdes, and I'm an English teacher. In my free time, I like to be in my house. Simple. Can I have the first volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Hi. Yes, Maria, thank you. My, my name is Maria Luisa. I live in Villa del Mar, La Libertad. I, I have two children. Um, I, work, I work in, in accounting. I um I like travel. Very good. You like to travel. Uh -huh, I like travel. Okay. I I I like going to cinema with my my children. Very good. Very good. Nice. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. Okay. Another volunteer, please. Yes, Melvin. Uh, Hi, everyone. I'm Melvin Serrano. I am 34 years old. I am single. I am consul 
consultor mark of marketing. Um, I have two pets, and I'd be happy for all be here with, with all of you. Thank you. Now, when you say pets, do you mean cats, dogs, fish? Oh, two, two dogs. Um, what's your name? What's Sorry. Your name? Francisco. My name is Francisco. Oh. Two, two, dog, two cockers, Francisco. I oh. what, what color are the cockers? Uh, brown, dark brown. Okay, yeah. good, nice. Dogs are cool. cool. Yes, <laughs> the best friends of the yeah. man. <laughs> but I prefer big dogs. Ah, big dogs. <laughs> yeah, rock wires. Uh. <laughs> big dogs. Oh, the, 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 the cockers are more pacific. Sure. Yes. When I was a kid, I had a cocker spaniel too. Um, Her name was two. Coqueta. There's a two girls, sister. Oh, oh yes. okay. Good. Maybe the Coqueta that I have was their great great grandmother. Maybe. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, thank you, Melvin. Oh, you're Next welcome. one. Hello. Eric. My, my name is Eric Estrada. I am 33 years old. Um, I have a daughter, a one daughter. I am electrical engineer. Um, in my free time, I like play soccer, um, go to the beach, and go to the gym. Good, very good. I live in, I live in, in um, no, perdón. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Vivo en Isalco? I, I live in Isalco. I live I live in Isalco. Okay. Isalco City. Good. Isalco is near Lourdes. Uh, no, Isalco is in Sonsonate. Right, but it's like 30 minutes from Lourdes, maybe. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes. Yeah, it's not far. It's not far. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eric. Another volunteer. Time is money. Time is money. Who's next? Anybody? No? Pamela? Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. My name is Pamela Flores. I am 25 years old. I am an industrial engineer. And I have, well, I am single and I have one dog. Oh. His name is Bruno. Bruno, Bruno he's, <laughs> he's a schnauzer. Oh, the little ones or the big ones? Uh, middle. Oh, okay. Medium size. Mm -hmm. Medium size. What color is the dog? Mm, it's gray. A traditional color. Yes, en español el color es salpimienta. Yeah. No, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Yeah, you, you say gray. Gray is good. Okay, it's gray. <laughs> okay, good. All right, thank you, Pamela. You're welcome. Okay, Vladimir. Hi, how are you? Good, uh, thanks. Vladimir Rodriguez. Uh, I have 37 years old. I mm -hmm. live in Soyapango. Uh -huh. What part uh, of Soyapango? Excuse me? What part of Soyapango? Ooh, near, near, near to Plaza Mundo. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I have uh, one child. Her name is Eileen. Oh, 
Okay. And in my free time, I like to play soccer. Good, good. Nice. Anymore. All right, good. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay, welcome. Okay, next one. Teacher. Yes, uh, Sonia. The, the, uh, the, the, um, compañero. The classmate. The, the classmate is, um, I have, I have 20 years old. Oh, is I am? Yes. I, I am, I am. I am is the correct form. I am 48 years old. Yes, the uh, correct uh, form is where to be. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Maria. No. Okay, someone else? Alma? Anamira. Hello. Alma, yes? Hello, yes. My name is Alma. Um, I am 43 years old. I have two children. Both uh, perhaps a, a man. Okay. Um, I don't know more. <laughs> okay. Where do you live, Alma? Uh, right now in Las Vegas. You're in Las Vegas right now? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Not really. Oh, so cool. Really. Las Vegas is very nice. No, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I love you, my country, El Salvador. Yeah, I Las want to be in Las Vegas. Yeah, take us. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the chat? You see the chat? What? You yeah. see the chat? Yeah. Sin City. The Vegas, the Sin City, yeah. Sin City. Yeah. Sí, sí, ok. ¿Qué dice ahí? ¿Sin City? ¿Cuál es Sin City? La ciudad del pecado, no sé. La ciudad del oh. pecado, exacto. La ciudad que nunca duerme. Sí. Exacto. That city no that sleep. never sleeps. The city that never sleeps. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Exacto. Very good. Thank you, Alma. You're welcome. Next one. Next. Next. Ana Lilian. Hi, good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good evening. Uh, good night. My name is Ana Lilian Salmero. I'm oh, yeah, uh, 36 years old. I work in a bank as um as an analyst anti money laundering okay i marry i have a uh, one son i live in la libertad okay nice very good thank you very much who's next nice cecilia to nice to meet you too Adalina. Cecilia, are you there? Cecilia? No? Anybody else? Something más? Que haga falta? Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. So, let me ask you. Um, have you had the chance to check the platform? Ya se metieron en la plataforma. Yes. Sí, yo se pude. Okay, good. Yes. Remember, okay, so remember, we have two responsibilities. Number one is the platform, and number two is the video conference. Okay. The two responsibilities are important, but your priority is the platform. In the platform, 
they keep record of all your activities, of all your activities. So Insafor monitors the platform to detect if you are doing your work or if you are not. So my mm. recommendation is do your work weekly. Do your weekly. work weekly. 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 I used to we think, yeah. What's the meaning? Weekly. Semanalmente. Weekly. Semanalmente. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't accumulate work. Don't mm -hmm. accumulate work. It's better that every week you complete a section. Every week you complete one section. Do you have any questions? Of the video conference uh, uh, time is a one hour? Yes, it's one hour from 9 to 10 p.m. And after that, we, we can work in the platform. Sure. Remember that the access to the platform is 24 hours a day. Oh, okay. So not necessarily after the platform. Okay. Lo que sí se les recomienda es ver la plataforma para cuando la tratamos aquí en la videoconferencia, usted sabe de qué estamos hablando. A pesar que los temas son bastante fáciles, so it's, it's no big deal, it's not difficult. Ok, thank you. Ok, now, how, what is the percentage that you need to pass the course? How much do you need to pass the course? 80%. 80%. 80%. That is correct. If you have 80% or more, you pass to the next level. If you don't have 80%, then you don't pass. Do you have any questions? No. No. No question. Okay, very good. Now, in the platform, we have different topics, including months the topic? of the year. Month of the year. Yes, in the months of the year. How many months are there in one year? Twelve. 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 How many days are there in one year? Three. Three hundred. Uh, uh, three hundred. Usually, usually, three hundred five. Yeah. But what about 2020? 366. Right. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? This is the English. Uh -huh. How do you say yes in English? Why? There's pieces. Leap year. Leap year. Yes. Leap year. Leap year. Leap year. Hold on. Okay. So leap year. How many days do we have in the leap year? 366. Exactly. 366. How frequent do we have a leap year? How for, four years. Every four years. Every four years, exactly. Every four years. ¿Se acuerdan la adivinanza que les hice en el nivel anterior? Ah, uh, yes. ¿Cuál es? I know. How many months of the year have 28 days? Exactly. You have good repentance. Para decir adivinarse en inglés se dice riddle. Ahí está escrito. Riddle. Yes, riddle. Ok. So, 
¿Cuál es la divina? ¿Cuál mes del año tenía 28 días? ¿Cuál es? February. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Every month of the year. Oh, yeah. Todos los meses tienen 28 años. 28 yeah. años. Si yo le dijese qué mes del año tiene solamente 28, entonces ahí aplica el, el uh, February. Yeah. Ok. So, what is, I'm sorry. What is the name of the first month? January. January. Ok. You go like this. January. 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 Check your headset. Estoy contestando ya una compañera que dice que no voy. Okay. Um, how do you spell, how do you pronounce enero in English? January. How many, how many syllables do you hear? Four. January. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the next month? February. 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 How many syllables? February. How many Five. syllables? Four. Three. Four. February. February. What is number three? What is month? March. March. Okay, listen. March. October. 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 December. 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 Yes. The better month. <laughs> the best month. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me ask you. Do you see the months? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do they have in common? What, what? do they have in common? What do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común? What do they have in common? Mire ahí la lista cómo se los he escrito. What do they have in common? Vamos a ver quién me dice. ¿Qué tienen en común? Nate. Nate in common. All the months. Ajá, ¿qué tienen en común todos esos meses? Let, let me give you a tip. Aquí le voy a dar una clave. Four, four week. Four week. Oh, no. I, one to five. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le acabo de poner ahí? Oh, capital letter. Yes. Mm. 
¿Qué dice ahí capital letters? Letras mayúsculas en inglés, usted dice capital letters. Yeah. Okay. Si son minúsculas, usted va a decir lowercase. Lower. Lowercase. Yes, Melvin. Yes. You have a question? Oh, no. This is... Oh, okay, good. So, okay. let me ask you again. What do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común? They have capital letters. The capital letters, but that's not right. That's not what? In English, days and months are capital letters. In English, when you write the names of the days or the names of the months, it obligatoriously has to be in majuscule. Oh. That's mandatory. That's mandatory. So, pregúnteme cuándo nací yo. What is your birthday? Okay, ese podría ser una. What is your birthday? Pero si de verdad usted quiere decir cuándo nació usted, usted va a decir. When did you have? When were you born? When were you born? When were you born? I was born. December 1971. I was born December 1971. When were you born? Cuando nació usted? Se puede inventar la respuesta, la idea que practiquemos. I was born January 90, 1995. 1995. Very young. <laughs> Very young. Okay. I, uh huh. I was born December 1975. Really? Yes. Oh, we're near. <laughs> yeah. December what? 27. Oh. And I you? 21st. Oh, near. <laughs> One week after. What? One week after. Una semana después, as you said. Oh, yes, after. Okay. okay. Good. Very good. Someone else? When were you born? No es necesario que diga la verdad. La idea es poder practicar la pronunciación de los meses y los años. When were you born? Okay, I was born in 17 November 1985. 1985, very good. Vladimir? I, I, was, uh -huh. I was born on November. 1982. 1982. Good, very good. Eric, when were you born? Eric, no, no, quiere decir cuando nació. Okay, that's okay. Um, uh, alguien más? I, I was born March, uh, 19, uh, 1986. 1986. Okay. The year, yeah, 1986. Okay. Someone else, I think, Max. I was born on July 1st, 1983. Good, good, very good. Someone else, I think, Max. No, someone else. So you say, I was born. I was born. Okay. Any questions about the months? Alguna pregunta relacionada a los meses? So January 1973. 
Ok, Cecilia nació bien cerca del de, año donde yo nací. Ok, bien. Ok. Um, yes. I have a question. Yes, Alma. En el año presente, o sea, ahorita sería 2020. Yes. You can oh. say 2020, or if you prefer, you can say 2020. The two options uh -huh. are good. The two options are good. Ah, okay, okay, thanks. Yes. Anybody else? Anything else? Now, listen to this. This is very, very important. In English, every day is ordinal. Every day is ordinal. ¿A qué me refiero cuando digo ordinal? Los ordinales. Exactly. Hagamos de caso que hoy es primero de julio. ¿Qué fecha es mañana? Así en español. Second. Ah, segundo, dos segundo. de julio. Segundo de julio. Okay, dos de julio. Oh, oiga bien, oiga bien. Hagamos de caso que hoy es primero de julio. ¿Qué fecha es mañana? Dos de julio. Dos. De julio. Dos. dos. Eso es en español. Only the first day is ordinal. Solamente el primer día del mes lo ponemos ordinal. Uh -huh. English is different. English, every day is ordinal. Uh -huh. Every Second. day. So, si hoy fuese primero de julio, yo diría, today is July 1st. Tomorrow is July 2nd. Second. 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 Entonces, si hoy es primero de, de julio, ¿qué fecha fue ayer? Si hoy es primero de julio, ¿qué fecha fue ayer? 31. Ajá. So, in English. 30. 30, 30 de junio. Yo siempre me he enredado cuando traen 30 y 31, pero bien. <risa> Hagamos de caso que es 31. ¿Cómo diría 31 en inglés? 31st. Exacto. 31st. 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 Ok. So let me ask you. When is Children's Day in El Salvador? October 1st. October 1st. Yes. When is Independence in El Salvador? September 15. 15. Okay, so you say, when is Mother's Day in, oh, in El Salvador? Okay, do you see the question? Ven el chat. No. No. Ok, hold on. Give me one second. Ahorita lo arreglamos. When is. When is. Okay, do you see the question? Yes. When is Father's yes. Day in El Salvador? Okay, when is Father's Day in El Salvador? ¿Qué pregunto ahí? ¿Cuándo es el día del padre? padre? Okay, what's the answer? When is Father's Day in El Salvador? June 17th. June 17th, okay. Ahorita los voy a poner a trabajar en parejas. Entonces, así como yo le pregunté, ¿Cuándo es el día del Padre en El Salvador? Usted va a practicar con los otros días feriados. Can you mention other examples of holidays in El Salvador? Yes, the Labor Day. 
Labor Day, muy bien. Póngalo ahí en el chat, please. Labor Day. Christmas. Christmas, póngalo ahí en el chat, please. Put it in the chat. Mother Day. Mother's Day, yes. What else? Christmas, Labor Day. What else? ¿Qué más? Mother's Day. Um... Halloween. Okay. Very good. Halloween. What else? ¿Cómo se dice el día de los difuntos, teacher? How do you say? Ask me in English. How do you say uh, día de los difuntos? Okay. In English. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. How do you say? Okay, if you want to say Dia de los Muertos in English, you have two options. Some people say Day of the Dead. Okay. The translation is literal, but that's not the official name. The official name is Soul's Day. Can you see it? Souls Day. ¿Qué dice ahí? Souls Day. Día de las almas. Correcto. Si usted quiere decir Día de los Muertos en inglés, la palabra correcta es Souls Day. Si quiere decir Día de las almas. Now, Souls Day. Souls Day. Now, when is Souls Day in El Salvador? November. What? November. What? November. No. Second. 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 November second. Yes. When is Christmas in El Salvador? December. Twenty-five. Twenty-five or twenty-fifth. 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 25th. Exactly, 25th. When is Valentine's? February 14th. 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 Okay. okay, very good. Entonces, les vuelvo a repetir. Los voy a poner a trabajar en parejas. Eh, no se quede callado. Y lo que usted va a practicar es lo que estamos diciendo ahorita. When is Father's Day in El Salvador? When is Children's Day in El Salvador? When is Valentine's Day in El Salvador? Va a mencionar el nombre del feriado para que su compañero le responda con el mes, que es el tema de ahora, más la fecha. Acuérdense que la fecha siempre va en ordinar. Are you ready? Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Right. Yes. Ok, de repente va a aparecer que está trabajando con alguien más. So here we go. Let me see this here. A ver, este está por aquí. Here we go. Ada and Melvin, can you hear me? Yes, Francisco. Good. Ada Lillian, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, lo dejo para que practique. Okay. Thanks. Good. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Ada Lillian. Nice to meet you. 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 No entiendo qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita porque no escuchaba nada y he tenido que salirme tres veces. Oh, pero ahorita ya la estamos viendo bien, Cecilia. 
Ah, tiche, buenas noches. Sí, tuve que cambiar los audífonos, ese era el problema. Entonces tuve que salir y entrar. Eh, lo que quiero saber es la pregunta que tenemos que hacerle al compañero porque no lo pude escuchar. Ok, sencillo. Usted lo que le va a preguntar a Vladimir, por ejemplo, va a ser When is Father's Day in El Salvador? ¿Cuándo es el día del padre en El Salvador? Ah, ya. Entonces, como vemos, estuvimos practicando los meses y las fechas, Vladimir le va a responder Father's Day in El Salvador is June 17. Así oh, de sencillo. Ah, okay. Father's Day, Mother's Day, Children's Day, Halloween. Cualquier feriado que se le venga a la mente, la idea es practicar el mes y la fecha. Y la fecha. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Ok, muy bien. No problema. Ok. Um, what is uh, 24, uh, December 24? Uh, that's Christmas Eve. Excuse me. ¿El día de la secretaria? ¿Qué sí. día es? Eh? <risa> April, April 26. April 26, ok. Gwen right. <risa> is... Gwen uh, is... Uh, engineer Day in El Salvador? I don't know. That's a difficult question. Yes, yes it is. When, when, when is, is it? Yeah, when is it? Oh, no me acuerdo. Uh, <laughs> Eric, are you an engineer? We both yes. are engineers. Oh my <laughs> and God. we don't know. Oh, <laughs> es que como nunca, nunca lo celebran, por eso no lo sabemos. <laughs> People never celebrate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Keep celebrating. When is um, uh, the soul um, day when in is the, Salvador? Excuse me? When is soul day in El Salvador? Uh, it's soul um day. Second November. Ok, ok. Hola, Alma. Hola, Mai. Hoy sí. Alma, when is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Um, my May. 10th. May. May, sorry. May 10th. May 10th. 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 Yes. Tenth. You see my lips? May 10th. 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 And this is the only difference between cardinal and ordinal. So you say May 10th. May 10th. Yes. Okay. Practice more, practice more. Adalidia. Yes. Um, when is Teacher's Day in El Salvador? Oh, Teacher's Day. <laughs> oh, Teacher's, yeah. Yes. Teachers, teachers exist. Yes. Uh, 22nd June? Yes, June 22nd. Ah, June 22nd. Yes, June 22nd. 
Yes. What about uh, when is New Year's? New Year is 31st, December 31st. Okay. New Year. Or January 1st. No. Exactly. New Year is 1st. Year. Okay. 1st. January 1st. January 1st. January 1st. So, New Year's Eve is December 31st. Okay. New Year's Eve. Sure. Yes, Eric. Uh, para decir uh, Día del Niño. How do you say? Chill. Okay, Eric, ask, ask, ask me in English. How do you say uh, Día del Niño? How do you say, how do you say Día del Niño? Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's Day. En inglés, en español decimos día del niño. ¿Qué decimos? Uh -huh. Pero en inglés lo dicen de manera plural, se dice Children's Day. Children's Day. Ok, thank you. Yes. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? How do you say uh, Women's Day? Good, yeah. International Women's Day. Yeah. Good. When sí, que is... Siempre tiene que ir en plural, teacher. Yes. Woman. Ah, ok. Yeah, Women's Day. Women's okay. Day. Yeah. No, eh, eh, se va en plural porque va con W-O-M-E-N, porque la apóstrofe S que usted oye no está indicando que esté en plural, sino que solamente es un posesivo. Ok. So, it was yesterday. Yes. Any other questions? Yes? Um, how do you say secretary, secretary day? Yes, secretary day. When is soldier's day in El Salvador? Oh, May 7th. <laughs> May 7th? May 7th. May 7th. Yes. Do you have any other questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. So, mañana traigo material visual para reforzar lo que hemos visto el día de hoy. Eh, vaya enfocándose en la parte, la, la, la unidad 1 de la plataforma, trae meses, fechas, y el plato fuerte viene siendo going to. Going to. When, what's the function of going to? Going to. Talk going about future. Exactly, future. Future. <laughs> yes. So, vaya preparándose porque mañana hablamos about future. About future. Yes. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, thank you very much for making the space, the time. And we continue tomorrow, same place, same time, nine o'clock. Okay, good night. Okay, sure. Have a good night. 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 Good night.